So in this video, I'm going to tell you who are the people who will go to Jannah. It's Surah Maryam verse number 63 where Allah says, That is paradise which we give as inheritance to those of our servants who were fearing of Allah, who were God-fearing. So here Allah again rejects that claim where people say that they will be given Jannah for free without doing any effort in this world. This world being a place of trial, everyone has been given freedom by Allah, right? Here are those who perform good deeds are free and those who indulge in bad deeds are also free. However, the unrighteous people, the people who are not God-fearing, take undue advantage of their freedom. So Jannah is a place from where all such wrongdoers will be excluded. So only those noble people will be lost who have proved in this world that they do not live like disbelievers or transgressors, but know how to live like a true believer, how to live like pure Muslims. Here Allah uses the word taqi for God-fearing people, the people who guard against evil. In this world, the hardest task is to abstain from vain pursuits. So to this end, one has of one's own free will to change a life of freedom into a life of limitations. This is the most difficult sacrifice which can be offered only by one who is truly God-fearing. And why only God-fearing people can do this? Because only those who fear God in this world can feel themselves to be accountable to God. He knows he has to answer his Lord one day. And because of this respect for Allah, this love for Allah, he's ready to offer this sacrifice he doesn't take advantage of the freedom that Allah has given to him. You can only become a taqi when you choose the path of Allah from all the other paths that world has offered to you. A taqi person can never follow the way which is harmful to him. He always abstain from the things that are forbidden. They are the only ones who will be admitted to the eternal paradise. And Allah says he will give them paradise as an inheritance. As if Jannah belongs to them. Jannah is created for them. They are the real inheritors who will live there forever. And the doors of Jannah are shut for the wrongdoers. Even if they are born Muslims in this world. So in order to earn Jannah, you have to become a taqi. You have to adopt taqwa. And then Jannah will be given as inheritance to you.